Hi, folks, and welcome to another episode of GOAFS. That's Getting Old Ain't for Sissies with Big Tom Rivers. Tom's an old hipster with 47 years of radio to remember. In places Ooh. like Chicago, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Minneapolis, Indianapolis, and plenty more, believe me. GOAFS was Tom's idea for baby boomers who want something to help them with growing older, but with a touch of the goofy, offbeat, and absurd. And that really? describes this man to a T for Tom. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend for a long time now and a real nutcase, Mr. Tom Rivers. Thank you, Doug Dahlgren. That's the voice of Chicago's greatest announcer, Doug Dahlgren. And I'm proud to say that Doug is my pal as well. Doug told me a joke last night on the phone. I'm going to share it with you right now. Listen to Doug's joke. Doug told me, outside of a dog, a good book is your best friend. Inside a dog, it's too dark to read. One, two, three. Sounded better on the phone, I think. Uh, Last time on episode 42, lots of fun stuff. You really needed to be there to appreciate it, folks. Uh, Make an appointment to catch everything we do talk about here on Getting Old Ain't for Sissies. G-O-A-F-S. All right. I need to take a time uh, out here and talk to you about uh, another friend of mine, Leo Colson. Leo owns a business in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's called Intermountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City. Leo has been a musician all his life, so he knows what you're already thinking and looking for. You're looking for something really special, okay? We know that. So if you're a full-time musician, a pro, a guy or gal who does weekend gigs, or a serious collector of fine stringed musical guitars, classic C.F. Martins, or classic Gibsons, Leo has them or can get his hands on them for you at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City. They have the very finest collection of Gibsons and C.F. Martin guitars, the finest banjos and mandolins around, both new, used, and vintage. The folks at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo focus on you, the customer, your needs, and service. Folks, I'm not stretching the point here at all. Leo does business all over the world, and it would amaze you at some of the places that he has shipped musical instruments. Intermountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City wants you to be completely happy with your purchase. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, you may return it within 30 days for a full refund. Leo and the folks at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo are proud of their products and their great service. That's why they never stop looking for ways to improve and make your musical experience the best experience you'll ever have in your entire life. Intermountain Guitar and Banjo. Owned and operated by my good buddy, Leo Colson. And I do mean, he's my buddy. He's a great guy. Uh, They buy old instruments, too. Now, their hours are by appointment only. Intermountain Guitar and Banjo, 712 East, 100 South, South, uh, Salt Lake City. Check out the website. Ooh, they got some nice stuff there. You can see all the beauties at guitarandbanjo.com. Guitarandbanjo.com or call 801-322-4682. Got it? 801-322-4682. Just told them Big Tom Rivers uh, said to give him a call no hassles just great musical instruments where intermountain guitar and banjo of salt lake city all right let's find out what's going on now the last time we talked 
I promised you that uh, we would talk about Bye Bye Miss American Cheese. American cheese is on the decline, and you can blame millennials, those little SOBs who want their cheese without preservatives that they can't even pronounce. One by one, America's food outlets like Wendy's, A&W, Cracker Barrel, and Panera Bread are abandoning American cheese and replacing it with fancier cheeses. U.S. sales of processed cheese, including brands like Kraft Singles and Velveeta, have been declining for years. It's true, it's from Bloomberg News. Uh, I also said, put your lips together and blow. If you're feeling stressed, start blowing bubbles. The inhaling and exhaling mimics deep breathing practices that have been shown to lower stress levels by 50%. For added peace, picture each worry as a bubble and watch it as it floats away. Got that one from Woman's World magazine. And if you curse, all right, if you've got a habit of a big potty mouth, don't ever set foot in Oklahoma. According to a law passed in the early 1900s, and it's still on the books, it's illegal to curse in public, especially in front of a woman or child, and you can receive a $100 fine for doing so. Another law in the state says you can't swear by taking the Lord's name in vain. It's unlikely anyone would be prosecuted on this law today, but it's still on the books, and it's more than 100 years old, and it would never stand the First Amendment challenge. That's from Mel M.E.L. Magazine. You want to give it a chance? Uh, Give it a challenge? Be my guest, Uh, not me. I don't want to go to court on that one. Uh Uh-uh. Let's see. On this day, what's going on? It's the 16th of the month. It is Global Cat Day. So be nice to a pussy today. It's National Boss Day. National Cut Up Your Credit Card Day. Now, there's a good idea for a lot of folks. National Learn a Word Day. You can do that while you're cutting up your credit cards. Oh, and look, it's World Spine Day. If you don't have one, grow one, you wuss. Uh, What else is happening? Major League Baseball, the ALCS, Game 3, Boston at Houston tonight. Major League Baseball, NLCS Game 4. The Brewers play the Dodgers tonight. That's on FS1. President Trump tweeted that the crowd's eyes at his rallies are proof that something big is happening ahead of the midterm elections. People are showing up to see if Kanye taught him how to rap. (laughs) A new dating app has been released uh, for people who support President Trump. It's called OKKK, stupid. Uh, That's the liberal version of that joke. Uh, The Republican version, a new app has been released for people who support President Trump. Play your cards right, and you can finally see a woman named Hillary in handcuffs. Uh, All's fair in love and war, right? Let's see, uh, uh, Rasmussen poll has President Trump's approval rating at 51%. It's amazing Stormy Daniels releases a book and the president's poll numbers go up. Ooh, that's one you got to think of. A naked naval officer was arrested after he assaulted a man at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg. Uh, Police say he also had a suspicious package. 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expecting their first child. If it's a girl, they're going to honor her mother and name it Doria. And if it's a boy, they're going to honor Prince Harry and name it Heineken. (laughs) Uh, The Chinese government threw a blogger in jail for five days after he disrespected the national anthem. Whereas here in good old America, we just hire people like him to play football and uh, get Nike ads. A new report by Showbiz 911 found out that ratings for Keeping Up with the Kardashians have gone down by 20% in the past year. In fact, the only thing that's gone down more is Chloe. Did I read that right? I think so. Uh, the report also claims that Caitlyn Jenner has been cut off from the family. Maybe, but Caitlyn has had other things cut off, so I don't think she'll mind. Uh, Hang on, we're going to be right back, right after this. And now, a message from the President of the United States. Hey folks, it's the POTUS with the MOTUS, and I'd like to offer some encouragement to the hurricane survivors down south. First of all, you know, I know what you're going through because I, too, was once in a stormy situation. And man, did I get blown away. But, you know, it wound up costing me $130,000 in hush money. Uh, sir. I mean, repairs. But America is here for you. If there's any shortage of food or drink, let me know. I can have Brett Kavanaugh send down a couple of kegs from his swearing-in ceremony. And, you know, if you need to unwind even more, I have some weed that Kanye left in the Oval Office. Oops. That's Obama's. But anyway, hang in there, folks. And just think, it could be worse. Hillary could be president. And we're back. How does it feel, folks, to be back in the same place where we started? Interesting, isn't it? It is to me, because this is truly a unique experience. Let's see what happened on this day in history. Back in 46, on the 16th of October, 10 Nazi leaders are hanged as war criminals after Nuremberg. Their wives were heard to say, Ooh, those guys were hung anyway. Uh, Also, the 16th, back in 1962, Cuban Missile Crisis begins. JFK is shown photos confirming the presence of Soviet missiles in Cuba. And he said, Black and white, I wanted color. Back in 86, the U.S. government shuts down due to disputes between President Reagan and the White House. Well, I told Gorbachev to stop it. What more do you want? Mommy. And uh, in 1992, this is interesting. October 16th, 1992, David Letterman show. He had already 1,700 shows in the bag. What an unbelievable guy. I miss him on late night show. A reminder, you can email me anytime at TomRivers, iCloud.com, TomRivers at iCloud.com. Look for this podcast on great platforms like iHeart Podcast Network, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Google+, Tumblr, Spotify, uh, Twitter, YouTube, my Facebook page, of course. And what do I humbly ask of you? Well, excuse me. Uh, where was I? I humbly ask of you when you're on those social media sites. <laughs> I'm a pig. Please click either like or follow. That, that'll that make me so happy. Maybe I won't even belch anymore. Uh, yeah, do that and everyone will be happy. Uh, next time... Oh, I forgot my friend Leo. Yeah. Uh, don't forget about Intermountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City. Leo has all the stuff you need. Here's the website. Intermountain Guitar and Banjo. Guitarandbanjo.com. That's all you need. Guitarandbanjo.com. 
or call them 801-322-4682 and tell them Tom Rivers 